Hi guys, it's Chantel with Creating Beauty and I am here, um, kind of knocked two birds out with one stone, um, here to announce my contest, stay tuned for that, and doing a Mineral Magic Cosmetics tutorial. So, if you'd like to see how to do a she devil look, then please stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do is for this uh, she sexy she devil look is block my brows. I definitely want to change up the brow shape, so I'm going to use Ben Nye Spirit Gum and apply that over the whole brow. Any of the um, hair areas, just a nice thick layer. Kind of encourage it to brush it up in a way so that it gives a nice, nice um flat surface and then I'm encouraging it as well to to dry quickly by kind of tapping into it and once it starts getting tacky I'm just going to start rolling it up and away from my brow. You can see how my fingers start and stick to it. Okay and once it gets to that point I'm going to let it dry because it's uh, getting tacky and it'll dry completely matte and clear. And I'm going to use Bin Nine Nose and Scar Wax and the spatula. I got this at the Hobby Lobby, uh, the spatula. And I'm just going to take a little bit out of there. And some people warm it up, but I don't particularly care to. I just like to push it in. Um, with my spatula and just really work it into the brow itself. You just add more as needed. Kind of tap it along to see if you feel any fuzzies. You can even go down gently. And for the most part, that has covered all of it. Now we're going to go over with Spirit Gum one last time, a nice thin layer to keep that um, nose and scar wax in place. And you're just going to do a nice thin layer. You're not going to touch it or anything, you're just going to let it dry naturally. Okay, so for the most part, it is pretty dry, not completely. Um, I'm just getting anxious and I want to get going. So I'm going to take some uh, thick concealer. This is Bin Nye Tattoo Cover, and then T-2, number two. And I'm actually going to spackle it on. And so to set this uh, concealer, I'm going to use a loose powder, and I'm using Banana Visage Powder, Luxury Powder by Ben Nye. It has a yellow undertone to it, and it's just going to be more complementary to my skin tone. You just really want to press that in there to set the the concealer itself. Nice thick layer all the way around it. And then you gently brush away any excess. And now I'm using just cheap Halloween face paint and a dense synthetic flat top brush. And I'm just basically making my face a nice red tone. Now to prevent staining, I've already applied um, a base of cream concealer and a setting powder. 
as well as moisturizing and prepping the skin. Okay, and then to do a final blending, just take a latex, non-latex sponge, something that you could stipple really well, and just gently blend everything out in a stippling motion. Okay, now that you have everything set the way that you want it, um, I'm going to start off in the eye area to set that. And I'm using Bloody Mary's um, red eyeshadow. It sticks really well to cream bases because it's quite powdery. And that's why you only need just a fine layer of this uh, cheap face paint, grease paint, and a pan. And I'm just rolling a big brush into it and tapping it into the skin. And for the body, I use Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder um, with that big fluffy brush because it's just such a large area. Um, tapped it onto a paper towel and then tapped it into my skin and then blended it around. And now I'm just going back over with some of the red um, powder to intensify it. And now I'm just putting a highlight on the skin tone, and I'm using Mineral Magic Cosmetics in Pink Tourmaline. It's a nice, light, pretty pink. And I'm going to use that as my highlighting powder. And a small little brush, patting it along the cheekbone. And then just kind of blending it out. Kind of like that. And you're going to do the same. Um... Once I draw on the eyebrows, you'll do that there. And then here, keep its bow. You definitely want that to stand out if you want it to be a nice, sexy uh, she devil down the bridge of the nose. Just to bring up the features, since it's quite matte and very red. And then you can do some underneath here as well. Under the jawline. Just make sure you blend it very well. Um, you can also do some on your decollete, I think you call it. Just right here in this area. Right up here. And then blend it out and down. A little bit on your muscles down the center. Okay, so we're going to introduce a little bit of uh, shape into the face, and I'm using Mineral Magic Cosmetics and Sista Girl. It's a nice warm brown. Tapping a little bit into the lid, and then swirling an angle chisel contour brush into it, tapping off the excess, and lightly starting at the back, I'm going to bring that forward, just following underneath the jawline, also on the um, temple area and under the jaw, soften it like this, and it's like a classic 3 or E. It's great for contouring and bringing out the femininity of, of the, um, of any female's face. Now I've kind of pre-marked an idea of how I want the eyebrows to look. It's kind of like devilish, naughty, Hopefully kind of sexy, kind of hard to do, um, but I'm going to go ahead and sketch it out first with an eyebrow brush and um, I mean this is a point of no return basically. I just want them really high arched. Kind of scoop them down. 